Welcome back to this guy's horse. As always, I'm your host, Matt, and uh, welcome to the new setup, which I actually kind of can't stand. So this is gonna change, but I figured I bought these flags for the background and uh, might as well get at least some news out of them. But today we've got some important topics. The truth about my WRX STI. So if you guys haven't noticed, I've had some complaints about the car in the past. And in my most recent video, uh, I referenced uh, some things I found out after I purchased the car and just happened to bring it in for a, a regular a regular oil change, which was uh, not one of the most awesome moments of my life when I found out that this expensive car that I had just bought uh, had some uh, major repairs that I was unsure about. I even made another video uh, referencing Donut Media's um, Why Subarus Are Terrible basically video and <sighs> unfortunately, they might be right. Um, I don't think so, but it is what it is. So let's get down to the brass tacks. I bought the car back in November of 2022, thinking I was gonna move to Alaska and have this great outdoorsy adventure with it. And uh, <laughs> that's not true. Here I am in the new Disguise Tour studio. Um, but we're actually in Illinois, which is kind of crazy if you think about it, because I was fully ready to sell the house and move all the way up to the Alaskan frontier and homestead. And I'm just kidding, I wasn't gonna homestead, but I thought we were gonna move really, really far away. And uh, psych, that didn't happen. Getting to know the car a little bit more, I did my first oil change with my buddy, Justin. Shout out Justin, you might've seen him in uh, one of the cars and coffee videos. Um, but we did the first oil change and everything was great. You know, we got the good look at the car and you know, everything seemed solid. It looked like, you know, minor wear and tear. Um, so we, we took it, we, we got the car and eventually I drove it, loved it. I loved every second of having the car, started a YouTube channel, did all these cool things, yada, yada, yada. Um, but then I took it to a Subaru dealership nearby because I was like, I just don't have time to do the oil change myself. I don't have the tools at my house. I don't feel like going to the auto hobby shop, whatever. Um, so I bring my car there thinking I'm all super duper cool. And as it turns out, um, the guy had seen the car recently and I was like, that's crazy. You know, I just bought it in November. He's like, oh, that's even crazier. So he runs the VIN. Super nice dude. Can't really fault him. Um, on any part of Bob Moore Subaru up in Oklahoma City is great. I highly recommend. Um, but he's telling me, uh, your car has had some major work done to it. I actually just put a whole new motor and ECU in this thing. And uh, well, uh, I had no idea. I had the car facts, I had all the history I could, but it's still, you know, if you do work and it's not reported and then it's not on your car facts and then you never know. And then it's just, is what it is because i thought it was a perfect car you know somebody loved it took care of it but it has kind of a seedy past um and which kind of sucks it definitely sucks that's why this is the truth about my wrx sti so the work that was done to it was done properly and like i said no fault to bob moore subaru the car runs great i love the car um, it just sucks to not know those things uh, when you buy a car because I thought everything was great. Everything looked fine. Everything looked clean, well taken care of, you know. Um, but there should have been some signs that I should have noticed. Like, for instance, the, the six piston Brembo brakes are really, really worn out. Like, super worn out. Like, the, it looks like they've been heat cycled a lot. So the paint's kind of chipping. Um, once I took the wheels off, and once again, one of my other videos that you can watch on the disguised horse youtube channel um you could really tell that just the paint had started to wear from heat and you know the brakes heating up and cooling down going around the track maybe doing a road course every now and then really took its toll on the brakes which explains some of the other stuff so <laughs> um if you look at the bottom of the bumpers there's some scratches there and this is all stuff i'd love to fix one day at one point in time but I got higher priorities and not everybody can spend thousands of dollars on carbon fiber bumpers and, you know, you know, fix all these great fancy things. Um, 
but we do have some cool stuff coming. Um, I can't wait to share that with you guys. Um, but just some other things I probably should have noticed, like there is some hail damage on the car and some of it, I don't want to say I caused just because it was a nice day. Then all of a sudden, you know, two inch hail starts coming down, but there's definitely some, uh, some warping in the hood in the fenders and the hood. And there's a lot of, you know, wear and tear on it. But I was like super enamored with the car. Like I kind of felt like we had this connection and that's why I was like, want this one. This is the one and I'm going to be happy with it. But the truth comes out, man, you gotta, you gotta come clean. You, I can't, I can't make a video about why donut media is wrong. Blah, 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 and then my car is just bunk. You know what I mean? Like, that's just not cool. So shout out to you guys. I loved your high low series with the Subarus. It was fantastic. Um, love, would love to meet you guys one day. Hopefully, you know, we go from this uh, bedroom and two flags to a whole studio one day, but that takes time. <laughs> That takes time.